three we're, we're doing analyzing of for the rotation we're going to do some rotation here for the images that we have so uh, here's a rotation example uh, I think this is not a good one here let's talk about this one here this is your ABCD image okay now we're going to give it different names the first the first figure will be the pre-image and then the, the second one will be the image now notice that we have an a and a prime b and b prime so if you, you start with an a which is that's the original portion and let's say you're rotating it 90 degrees rotating it 90 degrees that we we usually go counterclockwise that's a typical way so if i don't say anything about it if i say I just rotate 90 degrees by default we go counterclockwise that means counterclockwise means it goes this way see the way the way the cursor is moving so you're going this way okay clockwise will be the other way around okay so but in general we're doing counterclockwise when we want to mention clockwise we have to say it all right so there's rules you have to memorize we're, when you do an angle rotation a 90 degree notice that your x and y they're going to switch places your y become your x becomes a y and your y becomes an x and then on top of that you switch the sign of the first item or term so here look at this one here so you have a, a negative y when you rotate 90 degrees now an example you can see this an example look at a two and three it becomes what negative three and a two okay so that's exactly following a rule so we switch places and then you switch the sign of the first one for 180 it's easier xy stays xy you just switch the signs y negative and negative now the two seventies will be opposite of the 90 so you still switch places xy becomes a yx but you switch the sign of the second term okay so the easy way to memorize it is this way you know switch places okay and switch sign of the first one for the 90 and switch the sign of the second one for the 270. the 180s you just keep the same places x becomes still stay, stays as an x but you switch the sign of x and you switch the sign of y that's the only thing you need to do you need to memorize those three things and you could do all uh, the things in this section okay so the next section will be about uh, transforming composite transformation so you have more than one thing that you need to do for a shape I could slide it I could rotate it I could flip it so uh, we, we, this is more you know interesting so you guys you're probably gonna enjoy this one because it has more than one one thing we're gonna be doing here okay for example you could hear the here we did a translation we just move things around then we probably gonna be you know reflecting over a, a line that we're gonna call we call it a reflection line and also I, I usually call it the mirror it's like having a mirror that you reflect over and then you're going to be rotating so this is all done in class so this is going to take us a couple of days to do so we'll go from there guys yeah let's let's see you on uh, on that week bye bye